In the rugged realm of canine lore, few comparisons spark as much fascination and debate as that of the Rottweiler versus the wolf. Picture this, two formidable creatures, each possessing their own unique blend of strength, agility, and instinct. Yet, despite the intrigue surrounding this hypothetical matchup, the truth behind the myth of canine combat may surprise you. Before we begin please click the subscribe button and share. As we embark on this captivating journey, prepare to delve deep into the heart of the Rottweiler wolf debate. From ancient legends to modern-day misconceptions, we'll unravel the complexities of these two iconic predators and shed light on the reality of their interactions in the wild and in human environments. At first glance, the Rottweiler may seem like the underdog in this hypothetical showdown. Originating from the Roman Empire, these powerful canines were once prized for their ability to drive cattle and protect their owners' valuables. With their muscular build and imposing presence, Rottweilers certainly command attention, but can they hold their own against the cunning and ferocity of a wild wolf? On the other side of the coin, we have the wolf, a creature steeped in myth and legend, revered for its strength, agility, and pack mentality. From the icy tundras of the Arctic to the dense forests of the wilderness, wolves have long been regarded as apex predators, capable of taking down prey many times their size. But how do they fare against a domesticated counterpart like the Rottweiler? To truly understand the dynamics at play, we must first dispel the myth of canine combat and recognize that wolves and Rottweilers are fundamentally different animals with distinct behaviors and instincts. While wolves are adept hunters and skilled predators, Rottweilers are domesticated dogs bred for specific traits such as loyalty, intelligence, and protectiveness. In a hypothetical encounter between the two, it's unlikely that a Rottweiler would engage in combat with a wolf unless provoked or defending its territory or loved ones. In fact, history is filled with examples of Rottweilers and wolves coexisting peacefully in human environments. From rural farms to suburban neighborhoods, these two species often share the same territory without incident. While conflicts may arise in rare instances, the idea of a Rottweiler engaging in mortal combat with a wolf is more fiction than fact. Furthermore, it's important to recognize that wolves are highly social animals that typically avoid confrontation unless absolutely necessary. In the wild, wolves rely on their pack members for survival and work together to hunt, raise young, and defend their territory. A lone Rottweiler would pose little threat to a cohesive wolf pack, and vice versa. In the end, the myth of Rottweiler versus wolf combat serves as a testament to humanity's fascination with the natural world and our desire to understand the complex dynamics of predator and prey. While both species are undeniably formidable in their own right, the reality is that they are unlikely to engage in direct combat unless driven by necessity. As we conclude our exploration into the myth of Rottweiler versus wolf combat, one thing becomes abundantly clear. The true strength of these magnificent creatures lies not in their ability to defeat one another in battle, but in their resilience, adaptability, and unique contributions to the tapestry of life on Earth. So, let us embrace the awe-inspiring diversity of the natural world and celebrate the beauty and complexity of all living creatures, both great and small.